Hey guys, it's Megan Elizabeth from over at ByMeganElizabeth.com and I'm gonna do this as a voiceover so you can kind of see what Nate and I did for this Tuesday tutorial. We had a lot of fun making it. It's kind of a personal project for us. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, what we decided to do was create kind of a cover topper for an old stove so we're just kind of like measuring out this wood that we had it's actually scraps he got from work to be completely honest with you so it's like a really cheap and easy project that we just measured out and we're cutting out for this old antique wood stove Okay, this is an antique wood stove that was Nate's grandmother's. She actually made Thanksgiving turkeys in this. And somehow he was able to get his hands on it from the mountains. And we've turned it into our own little coffee station in our tiny little farmhouse kitchen. I love our house. Like, ridiculously love it. So anyway, once we cut it out, we just sanded it. And I am finishing it with a wood finish stain. Um, it's just a really simple, basic wood finish stain. I believe it's the color is called Americana. It's very beautiful. It's a little bit dark. And then we actually wax sealed it with Minwax furniture wax finish as well. Um, and the reason why we did this is because I want it to be able to chalk couture on top of it. So what I did was I grabbed some chalk couture floral patterns. This one happens to be from the You Are Enough. Um, pack which is also a special right now you guys which is really awesome you can check it out in specials and deals if you visit my chalk couture website you can do that through bymeganelizabeth.com or the links in the comments of course but i just placed it down i used some of my garden herb wax or actually i used evergreen i'm sorry i used the color evergreen and i placed it in both corners because the green just looked so beautiful with the greens that were already in this stove and the accents that we have on top and it's such a simple just place and paste and peel up i'm just gonna wash the transfer when i'm done i'll let it air dry sticky side facing up and i will also uh, wipe it down with a disinfectant cloth to keep that sticky going and it'll go back on its backing sheet but isn't that beautiful i just love it um it the corners just turned out perfectly it's a great little customized accent to this coffee station that really has so much personal meaning for both of us especially nate and I just love how it looks. There's a little before and after pick too. I just had some, uh, like a chopping block, <laughs> a, a cutting board literally was holding the uh, coffee maker on there steady and we just wanted to make it a little more personal. So thanks guys so much for watching. Nate and I would love to invite you to come make more with us over at She Makes Club. It's our monthly crafters club to be educated in the cricket and to tell your story in a meaningful and personal way love to see you over there come on over and check it out and as always you can find everything i talk about at bymeganelizabeth.com bye bye